where today we are talking matters of retirement and benefit funds and schemes. And joining me in studio is Simon Wafubwa, the managing director at N Wealth. Thank you very much, Simon, Thank you for Patrick. joining us. Quite a long time. Pleasure meeting. The last time we spoke, uh, we were at Liberty Pension Schemes. Yes, and we rebranded now. We uh -huh. are annual financial services, uh -huh. enabling world creation for a better tomorrow. I get it. Yes. But have to set the ball rolling. How are we faring as a country when it comes to matters pension schemes? I think it's a plus and negative. A plus in the perspective that the pension assets, as based on the recent statistics from the RBA, mm -hmm. Uh, we are past a trillion, and I think that is uh, profound growth. Uh, this has been pushed uh, quite a bit by the a lot of uptake. Many employers have actually set up occupational pension plans, and uh, also returns driven by stable capital markets has uh -huh. helped, like last year, 18% uh, return for segregated funds. Uh, but I think uh, we still have a big gap in terms of... Uh, since it's not compulsory to set up pension funds, we still have a lot of many employers who are yet to actually designate, mm -hmm. other than the NSSF contributions that go there, which is just about 400, 400 shillings per month, mm -hmm. is not adequate. Mm -hmm. So we still have many employers who have not put in place a formal uh, saving scheme for mm -hmm. uh, their staff. Okay, yes. and we have about 1,300 of these pension plans or schemes of funds yes. and uh, with membership of about 3 million Kenyans. From Correct. where you sit, you don't believe this is adequate? Yes, because you, you can't... Um, from a study we recently did uh, in partnership with Strathmore University on mm -hmm. retirement confidence index, mm -hmm. we noted that only 14% of Kenyans who are working are confident when it comes to retirement. Mm -hmm. Most of them, therefore, would prefer to get an extended contract. Yeah. And one key variable was that they don't have income adequacy. Um, our average income adequacy is way below mm -hmm. what the World, World Bank would recommend. Mm -hmm. Possibly our house view is that we should have about 75 mm percent -hmm. but most kenyans would live with income mm -hmm. uh, replacement as low as even uh, 15 percent yeah and that that is a big gap and and is as basic as when a man has retired um the the, the wife won't see an incentive to stay at home mm -hmm. they will give visiting daughter one daughter two for three months yeah. two months i see when there is money they will stay together mm -hmm. Um, um, I like sharing this story, the retired teachers. Yeah. Every end of month, they will go to the nearest bank, get some 10,000 monthly pension. And uh, when they have that 10,000, they cycle home, they are whistling. They are happy. They have bought some fish, they have bought some newspaper for yesterday, and some bus of, So there is hope driving their future. Mm -hmm. And I think this in a big way helps in terms of... Uh, as their economic social well-being even in retirement. I get it. And 10 years ago, we were looking at an asset base when it comes to pension funds of about 100 billion or thereabout. Yes. Right now, you just mentioned a slightly above a trillion shillings worth yes. of assets within these firms. What is it that is driving uh, this particular, uh, I mean, growth, if at all you say we are still lacking? Um, first is that, as I mentioned, a lot of employers have actually, in the recent past, uh, courtesy of the awareness driven by the Retirement Benefits Authority, a lot of employers have put in place uh, pension schemes in the recent past for their employees. But also recruitment has been ongoing mm -hmm. because as our economy has continued to grow, so more are getting employed and therefore joining pension plans. Mm -hmm. But uh, on a personal volition also, um, enhanced financial literacy is driving many uh, self-employed to actually join individual pension plans. Yeah. And also they're appreciating the benefits of tax incentives, good returns that are delivered by pension plans, and uh, being conscious about their future mm -hmm. well-being financial, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, I get yeah. it. Let's break it down further. Many yeah. people are employed. Yes. Uh, as you mentioned, most yes. of them want extended contracts. Yes. Perhaps they don't appreciate the rest that comes with uh, retirement. Yes. But then again, not many actually even understand what retirement is all, all about and the importance of joining a pension scheme. Perhaps if you may just break it down for us, at what point should someone consider this and of what significance is uh, uh, this joining a pension uh, scheme? 
Um, I think it's imperative from day one, one joins employment to join a pension scheme mm -hmm. to save. Uh, they will be able to afford themselves the benefit of time. That when you begin early, compounded interest accumulating on your savings has a greater power in terms of growth of your savings compared to someone who, who begins very late. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but then also, retirement saving affords one an opportunity to save for their future such that when they have uh, finally left employment, yeah. then they have some income replacement that uh, they can be able to fall back on to support in terms of their livelihood mm -hmm. while they are no longer working in their mm -hmm. formal mm -hmm. uh, employment. Mm -hmm. That can happen at age 60, can happen at age 40, uh, because you choose at when to retire. When to retire. Yes. Okay, and when we have this income that keeps coming even long after you've retired, yes. uh, do we mean that uh, these uh, sort of benefits comes on a monthly basis or are there separate arrangements within separate uh, pension funds? Uh, we have primarily two benefit access options. Mm -hmm. One we call Provident. So say someone has saved like five million at age 60, in a Provident fund, the scheme rules will allow access of benefits up to 100%. Mm -hmm. uh, but for mm -hmm. the pension, they get one third, and then the balance mm -hmm. they get that monthly for life. Mm -hmm. and that pension then is paid, even if one would live up to age 120, they will still get the monthly okay. up to that age. Okay. Yes. I so, uh, Simon Fubo is an expert on matters retirement benefit, and we are just trying to break it down, especially when it comes to uh, investing, or rather being part of uh, a pension uh, plan, especially amongst the Kenyan youth. So, yes. Simon, yes. Uh, we've noticed significant growth in terms of asset base as we earlier indicated. Yes. But then again, the industry is not short of some deficiencies. Perhaps if you can just highlight some of those issues that have impeded the desired growth in this sector and some of the remedies that experts like you actually uh, do, do advise. I think uh, among the youth, the culture of consumption, uh, that priority is to spend as much, but not without a care of the future. And I would usually say, if you eat your future now, your future will eat you. Because <laughs> there will be nothing else to eat. Mm -hmm. So the attitude to us saving for retirement is not very good. But I think part of the intervention as an industry we have, mm -hmm. is particularly at annual is a lot of uh, financial literacy programs that help to shift the mind mindset mm -hmm. and appreciate deepen the appreciation by the members mm -hmm. uh, we, on, in terms of the need to save for mm -hmm. retirement. Uh, but also there could still be better benefits in mm -hmm. terms of incentives by the government. Mm -hmm. I think for a long while we've never seen, uh, we've not seen uh, better taxation yeah. uh, that would really push a lot of uptake and uh, in terms of tax incentives. Mm -hmm. uh, we still have taxation applied, uh, though we have tax reliefs, uh, but they are not as commensurate uh, uh, in terms of the current state. Uh, of livelihoods. So we would need to see uh, a, an overhaul of taxation. If okay. you look at other countries like Tanzania, uh, contributions are not taxed, uh, also income is not taxed, and also pension benefits are not taxed mm -hmm. because the government hopes that this is part of the social security programs. Mm -hmm. uh, so if we had a robust tax incentive uh, uh, regime, possibly then even the cash transfer program, we don't need them because we have uh, adequacy of income to replace income at retirement. Okay, and during his budget speech, actually, we did yes. see, see as uh, uh, for tre National Treasury Henry Rotich yes. recommending or perhaps proposing an amendment into the RBA Act yes. to ensure that employers who yes. do not uphold the law when it comes to remitting uh, employees' actually contributions are well dealt with. I wonder whether you welcome uh, this move and whether it's actually timely. This is quite a timely move. Uh, we've had very unfortunate situations where some employers have actually uh, gone under with the huge sums of unremitted contributions that were deducted by employees mm -hmm. from employees, and they were never remitted to the pension scheme. Uh, the law requires by 10th. When you have deducted as an employer, you have to pay to the pension scheme. Mm -hmm. And we have cases where um, some employers owe as high as even one billion wow. that is not paid. Mm -hmm. And this denies the 
opportunity for timely investment mm -hmm. to optimize value of the savings for the members in the retirement. Mm -hmm. And return is a good comp is one of the key components of growth yeah. uh, for income adequacy for members when they get to retirement. I get it. As we almost wind up, there are people yes. out there yes. who are border border riders, yes. I mean street vendors and hawkers, yes. and when they hear about retirement benefits, they wonder is there room for me to equally benefit? Because they won't be hawking for the rest of their lives. So what would be your advice to them? Do they stand a chance to be part and parcel of this retirement benefits agenda? Yes, they do. Um, the personal pension plans that are already approved by the Retirement Benefits Authority uh, would afford them that opportunity, mm. and that includes even the Mbao pension plan for the Juakali artisans. We as NWELD have a personal pension plan that they can contribute. To join is easy. You contribute as much as you can, mm -hmm. and if you're not able, you can take a break. You can start again. Mm -hmm. Whatever that you have saved is what will be earning a return for you, mm -hmm. such that when you get to retirement, uh, you can now be able to use it for your income replacement. And this is for anyone who has any form of income, uh, irrespective of the amount. Absolutely. You can contribute as little as 50 shillings through M-Pesa. Mm. And this, in a way, will be able, because saving is largely an attitude. Yeah. It has nothing to do with how much you earn. Mm -hmm. um, it's just equitable to the recent World Cup events that we are seeing. Mm -hmm. Ball possession doesn't guarantee a win. Uh -huh. You saw what happened. Uh -huh. Spain, Spain had 76% ball uh, possession. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess ball Russia's, possession yeah. is like cash. True. We all have cash circulating, uh -huh. access to it. Uh -huh. But it's how strategically you use that uh -huh. to be able to optimize the value mm -hmm. for your future uh -huh. in terms of your financial sustainability. Uh -huh. Yes. So what's the game plan now that you, we've gone spotty a bit in this analogy? I think uh, strategy is key, mm -hmm. that you do your personal sort analysis, uh, understand your status where you are mm -hmm. and align your investment philosophy mm -hmm. that is aligned to your values, your goals, priorities. Uh, your priorities between age 20 to 30 are varied from someone who is between age 40 to 50. Mm -hmm. So you don't play other people's game. It's one sure way of losing. Mm -hmm. Yes. I get it. And uh, still in that, uh, f okay. So in studio, I have Simon Wapfubo, who's the CEO of NWAP Financial Services Limited, and we are basically trying to demystify retirement uh, planning. Wapfubo, before we took that uh, live break, yes. you had brought in a very interesting analogy yes. of uh, retirement planning being uh, equated yes. to a football uh, match. Yes. And so is it also important to take a half-time break as well as uh, bring in some substitutes when you're planning life after employment? Yes, like any football match, usually you'd have after 45 minutes a break. And so you have a coach review to take stock of the first half and uh, re-strategize. Uh, having those periodic reviews in terms of assessing how well you are doing in your financial planning goals achievement uh, gives you the energy and self inner drive mm -hmm. to be able to, and also the afforded opportunity to correct any mistakes mm -hmm. that you've done before, either by way of making wrong investments or uh, spending behavior that you can now align to the priorities at that life stage. Mm -hmm. uh, but also substitutes, you see, um, investments are like your players in the field, they mm -hmm. are playing. So properties could be like your defense. Uh -huh. Okay, the equities could be like your strikers. Yeah. So they are scoring your goals in terms of your finances. And then you have corporate bonds, uh, the commercial papers. They are playing midfield Mid to, midfield as to yeah. supply some cash, uh -huh. uh, some through balls into the equities uh -huh. uh, re investment so that you can win. Interesting. And in that process, you notice some assets do not perform as good. Mm -hmm. So through periodic reviews, you can actually substitute them. Mm -hmm. If a plot is not doing as good in terms of protection, defense, playing mm -hmm. defense, you can sell and diversify and reinvest into another investment asset class mm -hmm. that can earn you a higher return or be aligned to your priorities in terms of personal risk assessment. Uh -huh. And yes. eventually when you win, it's important that you celebrate that win. Yes, uh, I have ne I'm yet to come across a, a, a team that would wait until mm -hmm. uh, after 90 minutes is when they celebrate. Yeah. So you don't have to wait until age 60 to go on holiday. 
uh, it's important that you celebrate every win moment. Mm -hmm. At age 60, you may not have the test pass to enjoy the um, flavor of life. Yeah. Every win moment celebrate. Oh, that will see. give you inner momentum to be able to enjoy life. And finally, what's NWAP doing to ensure that it actually does uh, create awareness as well as help people actually grow their wealth? I think uh, we are one of the, uh, I mean, trendsetters in the industry when it comes to innovation. Mm. Uh, we innovated a post-medical retirement, post-retirement medical scheme that takes care of retirees in terms of healthcare up mm. to age 90. Uh, we also have developed an online portal leveraging on ICT, serving over 55 billion uh, worth of pension funds in the market, 40,000 members. We allow members to access their statements online mm -hmm. and also through the mobile app. And we have also inbuilt within our team a uh, technical department that just handles member education and financial literacy. Mm -hmm. And this, in a way, has uh, been very impactful. I think last year alone we are able to uh, offer retirement planning sessions to over 20,000 members wow. across the country. Interesting. And this is some of the push uh, revolutionary within the market as we position um, uh, value addition as annual in the market. Thank you very much Thank indeed. You. Awesome. Thank you. I Thanks appreciate it.